Welcome back to another one of Julian's Random Projects. Today we're going to be trying to take some inspiration from another YouTuber. Uh, his name is Julian Elite? Elette? I don't know. Julian, I'll put a link to his um, YouTube channel here. Uh, I've been following him for quite a while, actually, before I even made this uh, channel that I've been using lately. Uh, and, he, and, I, and I love the depth that he goes into when he's uh, you know, doing his electronic projects and actually showing data sheets and explaining why things work the way that they work. Uh, he really has the heart of a teacher, and I got some inspiration recently from his attempt to make a, um, uh, what did he call it? This is like super um, back garden solar lamp. Uh, a lot of the lamps, um, actually I can show you one. Um, a lot of the lamps look like these things. You know, there's these cheap dollar store, or in my case, on clearance at another retailer uh, for literally a dollar. Um, and for a dollar, if you're a geek like I am, you can't pass this up. That's the addiction. That's what Julian's problem is. Great name, by the way. Um, you know, when you have, you know, you got big ones, small ones. Um, the, the, the parts list for something like this is just too good to pass up at a dollar. I mean, it's got a solar cell inside there. It's got, uh, a, you know, sometimes a triple A battery, or in this case, like these half double A batteries that I found inside these. And uh, it's got a reflector. It's got a metal shaft that's pretty thin, some plastic bits, that, you know, that pop out. And, I mean, uh, an LED, a, a switch, a couple screws. I mean, the parts list alone this thing is worth picking up if you're a, a DIYer or you're somebody that likes to tinker with things. And, and so, you know, you're, I'm, I'm sort of addicted to these. When I see them, I have to buy them, especially when they're a dollar. Um, but I've always wanted more. I, want, I wanted it to be brighter. I wanted it to last longer. Sometimes I'll go out there at, you know, one, two in the morning, and they're all dim or off. That's kind of lame. They, and they're out all day collecting sun. Um, and, and I've found that that's a function of the cheap battery that they've put in. So I'd upgrade the batteries, and then I'm spending a lot more than I should on these things. Um, but long story short, I, I ran into some other... Uh, there's another guy on YouTube that's making um, cells with, like, super capacitors. And that's always been really interesting, watching his. But same thing, it's it's he's making something that's intending to be used for... In the next 30 years or something like cast in resin and uh, it's not much brighter than some of these commercially available ones um, I was going Julian's route I wanted to have something that collected a shitload of Sun during the day stored it and then uh, had a decent light output throughout the night and then if you wanted to maybe either by uh, touching it or walking past it it would really light up and and and, and give you a ton of light and so I, I ended up buying a couple products that did something close to that, but then, you know, they ended up being kind of expensive too. And after seeing Julian's <laughs> attempt here to do, um, to do this with a really high powered LED and a, a sealed lead acid down there, I was like, you know what, I, I think I have all the pieces and parts to build that, you know, maybe I should take a, take a crack at it. And then I started thinking, well, if I'm going to do another project and put it up on YouTube, it's got to be like one better, right? Like I can't just make the same wood frame that Julian made here. Um, so I thought the one better would be all these old iMac G4s that I've got lying around. Um, at one time, I think I had about a dozen of these, like 10 or 12 of these sitting on my kitchen table, pissing off my wife. Um, I got I got addicted to these for a little while too mostly because of the price point and also they make a larger one that has like a, a little bit bigger screen that one looks really sharp um as 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 a kid i always thought they were really a nice bit of id or industrial design and uh i mean they're weighted i mean like this is not difficult to do i mean we're just it's just perfectly it's very smooth and actually you can pivot it and um i just always thought they were really neat by the time i got it got around to buying one they were grossly underpowered I, I mean one of these booted up can't actually go to YouTube this one here is just I've already I've converted this one there's no there's no guts in here um, there's no computer anymore it's just a an HDMI display now um, but I can plug it to any HDMI source which makes it kind of handy I like it um, 
But you, you you go to YouTube and it just the the flash player just bogs the system down. But interestingly enough, you can play uh, uh, Halo, like the the first person shooter. Halo launched on this piece of hardware here. A little known fact. Um, and I've installed it on this one in particular after overclocking it and maxing out the RAM and putting in a modern hard drive. Uh, it, it ended up being very playable and a lot of fun. Uh, this one's currently got Linux. I'll, I'll show you some screenshots of it booted up um, with Linux. Um, I don't have it now because I had to steal the power cord for this guy. But um, and so I started buying these on Craigslist and they are anywhere from free to forty dollars, you know, there's a couple people that are confused about what it's actually worth, and they want a hundred dollars for it. Um, but just keep an eye out for them. Sometimes you'll see them for fifty bucks pop up. Go take a look at it. Bring fifty bucks with you. Um, but if it's got nicks and dings and stuff, offer them forty, and you're gone. You're out the door. Uh, this particular one, uh, if I if memory serves, had it was just really really dirty. I tried to clean it up some uh, before this video, and I'll clean it up more as I use it as this, for this project. Um, but I wanted to. I wanted to use it as sort of a sun catcher. When, when it's deployed it, like this, like pivoted up, it kind of looked like about the angle you could put a panel on, a solar panel. Um, and then uh, the, the base is really heavy already, and it's got power supply and a motherboard and a CD-ROM and a bunch of other pieces in it. So if I took all that out, I could probably put a decent sized battery in here and maintain a very similar weight. And so what I envision for this, uh, and, and I'll, I'll do a couple videos showing the progress of this build. Uh, what I envision for this is that it would sit out in the sun all day and um, collect energy and then either through the night become sort of a garden light or a, a backyard um, walkway light or you could quickly grab it and bring it in, grab it by this handle here and um, bring it in, use it as a external, you know, an extra little power bank, you know, whether it's to run some emergency lights because the power's gone out or, you know, charge your iPod or whatever. Maybe you take it camping, you know, not, not like backpacking, but like you go camping and you take like an RV and stuff with you. This would be kind of a cool little thing to put out on a picnic table and collect some sun and then everybody could come around and, and plug in there. You know, maybe you'd, maybe I'd do something with, uh, with this here and you pull that down and everyone can plug in their USB ports. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to play around with it and, and see what's, what's best for it and uh, take a stab at it. I, of course, I won't have this much surface to collect sun with. I'll only have this, maybe a little bit wider in one direction or the other, uh, but not by much. Uh, but, but I figure maybe, maybe I won't go with, I think, I think Julian's using a 50 watt bulb. I probably won't go that bright. I, maybe I will for an option to like switch to flip it on um, full brightness for a little while. Um, but that would probably run down a little tiny battery that would be in here. Re tiny is relative, uh, tiny compared to his car battery being used in this one. So, um, yeah, so that's the introduction to this project. And um, keep watching the channel if you want to see more stuff like this um, or see how this particular project progresses. This is uh, Julian's Ranger Projects. Thanks.